The city of Portage has had a back and forth for decades over the fate of their airport that has finally reached an agreement, and now they may be getting some federal assistance to move forward. Grace Olch has you covered on where the city council finally landed and their plans for the future. Brandon, Portage Mayor Mitchell Craig says the fate of the Portage Airport has been in limbo for 25 or 30 years. And just this August, I was at City Hall for the meeting that swayed the Alders to keep it open. Craig says Alders were pretty stunned to see the massive turnout of people who desperately did not want to see their airport go. There were people who use it for recreation and flight students and instructors all there to speak on its behalf. Now knowing just how important it is, Craig says the city's dedicated to making it the best it can be. And just in time, today, Senator Tammy Baldwin announced nearly $40 million in funding will head to local Wisconsin airports. Portage getting just under $150,000 of those dollars. We applied for it this year, the first time ever in history of Portage. Um, so we have full intentions of moving forward with uh, making, upgrading the airport, uh, replacing the runway, um, and a lot of other things with the hangers and stuff. So this is only going to help us get to where we want to be faster. Baldwin's investment is $38.3 million in total. Some other airports in our area will see investments as well. Baraboo and the Dells will see just under 300000 The Southern Wisconsin Regional Airport in Janesville with a little under $1 million. And Reedsburg and Viroqua seeing the same investment as Portage with 144000 Craig says, of course, the news of their funding is still new, so they're working out where this money is headed. But in addition to the runway and hangar improvements, they're already looking at. Craig says there's also talks of a new flight school.